Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful afternoon today. Sorry I haven't been posting in quite a while. Most of my videos are relatively short because my phone doesn't have the very long running time. I do have an SD card in my phone now, so hopefully it should last a little bit longer without cutting me off. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for most of the bad quality in my videos, especially with the lighting, and I never really have much to talk about. But here I have a bunch of heads. This isn't all of my heads. There are two over there. The one covered in tape is for a friend that I'm working on, and the other one below is a DVC head. It's one of the foam black ones. I have it in another video. I'm going to make my first sauna with that one. Just because I, I really love DVC, and I would like to have a nice realistic version of my fursona. I don't really know what to talk about exactly. I just wanted to go over and show all of my heads. So, we're going to start with Snowball. Unfortunately, she isn't the nicest looking one. She is the first one I ever made. She was made on a bucket head. And I somehow did that wrong. There are so many flaws with her. I just, I can't even. Her mouth is especially cringy. Her eyes have been redone at least three times. And some of the fur pieces have too. She does have some spots on the back of her neck. As you can see, her ears are not supposed to fold down. They just, they will not stay up. She's not a very nice looking head. I did use glue in quite a few places I shouldn't have. That is a big no-no. And when you shave down, you could see a lot of these nasty lines. That is because I had to work with what I had. I didn't have money when I made her. I only had a little bit. And it took me a long time to finish her because of that. Um, I am remaking a snowball head. I have this one right here. I do all of my heads on a balaclava. Other than Snowball being the only bucket head. I make my balaclavas out of like lycra and stuff like that. Just stretchy material. So hopefully this one will look a lot better. It'll have more foam in, form in the face. Um, the second head I ever made was maroon. She's got a little beanie on that I made for her. Unfortunately, being the second head, still flawed. Her and Poison were actually made around the same time. I just finished Maroon first. This one ear is slightly bigger than the other one, unfortunately. But she has a lined neck, unlike Snowball. All of my current heads are lined. And here are her little teeth. Most of them have clay teeth made out of polymer clay. Her whiskers are probably the most hated feature I have on her. I don't like them. They got all bent and nasty because of my cats. They like to chew on them and knock my heads over. So that's not very fun. Her hair was also hand dyed, so unfortunately it stains her face. Um, Her bang doesn't really stay up. I, I kind of part it to the side a lot and tuck it under the hat. But there's Maroon. She's got cheek fluff. Next, we have Poison. I did add this little hair piece. I would have liked to add more, even a wig, but unfortunately, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to weft hair into the fur either. So, she's just got this bang. Which is fine, but she is supposed to have long hair. Probably one of my only fursuit heads that actually has hair. A lot of the other ones just have a little puff of fur in the front, like a little bang, if any. Another lined one, this time with gray. They all have removable tongues except for Snowball. And that one over there doesn't have a removable tongue either. 
see the inside. If I could get it open. All lined in there. She's got her little scar over here. Sewn over the fur. That's a feature that no one really gets to see. Her ears and her piercings. Back of the head. Torn ear. There's poison. Next we have this one. I don't have a name for this one and it's still not finished. I haven't gotten back to it in a while. This was supposed to be my take on a more realistic one. This is made entirely out of foam. And that was not easy or fun to make because I can't find any tutorials on how to do something like that. So I did this by myself by scratch. That was not fun. <laughs> Some more clay pieces on here like the nose that I made. The teeth. The tongue does come up, but yeah, it's glued down. Tear duct vision, resin eyes that I made. Um, the inside of this head is also lined, and it has a zipper too. This big fuzzy mohawk. It's got a hidden zipper. You probably can't see anything because of the black fur, but it's right in this part right here. Ears. There's that. It's dead eye right here. There's a heart and a rainbow inside of this eye, but it's probably not the easiest to pick up on camera. I still need to add a top teeth, if I even add it at all, and like a little lining around the gums. There's that. Then we have Rain over here, who I've decided to keep because it just looks too cute to get rid of. I, I can't see myself selling this. Not to mention, there are quite a few flaws on it that I don't deem sellable quality. So, stuck with it. <laughs> Teeth don't ever really want to fold down. Got a forked tongue over here. Nice, cute little thing. Some spikes on the back of the head. There's four. Um, also lined. And. Yeah, that's that's about it. I don't know what else to talk about, really. Snowball was one of my first ever characters, and I am planning on remaking her in the future. She's what got me into the furry fandom. I've always loved animals and cartoons and things like that. And whenever I did find out about furries, I was just... Oh my gosh, these things are cute. They're like giant stuffed animals. <laughs> I just had to make one. And now I really love them. They're just so fun to make. To see your character come to life. And you learn as you go. I mean, obviously there's a lot of mistakes on most of my heads, if not all of them. I know I'm not perfect by any means. But I'm trying, and I've noticed that I've gotten a lot better since then. So, the more you practice, the better you're going to get. Alright. That's all I want to say. So, I hope you all have a nice day.